Nature knows no bounds in its ingenuity and diversity of living beings on the planet. Among the various types of animals, there are the most striking, attractive, graceful, fluffy or simply funny species that stand out from the rest. Dangerous or harmless miniature or huge, they are all perfect creations of nature. Today we will look at animals that are the rarest and most beautiful representatives of their species. Glass Butterfly or other name, Greta Odo, a butterfly with an unusual name, Greta Odo, can rightfully be considered one of the most beautiful insects on the planet. Undoubtedly, this is one of the strangest and most peculiar butterflies in the world. Greta Odo's wings are devoid of colored scales, and therefore their texture is transparent, except for the brown edges. This creates the illusion of changing colors depending on the environment the butterfly is in. This amazing ability allows butterflies to merge with vegetation, hiding from birds and other natural enemies. And if the bird still eats a glass butterfly, it will not be happy with such a dish. Being a caterpillar, Greta Odo feeds on plants of the Kestrum genus and accumulates poisonous alkaloids. Therefore, an adult butterfly tastes disgusting and the second time, the bird does not want to eat a similar butterfly. The lack of color in the Greta butterfly is a good disguise. Light passes freely through the thinnest wings of an insect, making it invisible even to the most vigilant birds. This interesting butterfly lives in the tropical forests of South and Central America, but is most often found in the Amazon. It is in the Amazonian selva that these glass butterflies are the most common species of insects from the Lepidoptera order. It seems that nature was in a hurry, creating Greta Odo, and did not have time to give her a colored outfit, leaving most of the wings transparent. But this did not stop the butterfly from winning the title of one of the most beautiful. Peacock. If there were beauty contests among birds, the peacock would definitely get a prize. Peacocks are the most beautiful birds of the order Galliformes from the pheasant family. People from ancient times, who saw peacocks almost 4,000 years ago, were amazed by the unusual bright colors and began to tame them. In captivity, large birds easily settled in, the average life expectancy increased from 20 years in the wild to 40 years next to people. The peacock became an ornament of the parks of the rulers of India, Rome, and ancient Egypt. The first information about domestication came from India. Here she is revered as a national symbol, which does not prevent her from being sold for big money. Alexander the Great brought peacocks to Europe from campaigns in the countries inhabited by these birds. The peacock, due to its majesty and beauty, holds the record for being mentioned in myths, fairy tales, and religious writings. It is called the bird of paradise or the royal bird. In China, in ancient times, emperors rewarded their subjects with a fan of peacock feathers for merit. In one of the previous parts about the most beautiful animals, we talked about the most beautiful duck with the name Mandarin duck, but there is also an equally beautiful fish with the same name. Mandarin fish belongs to the perch-like order. The brightly colored exotic species favored by aquarium keepers is also known as the psychedelic fish. In nature, it lives in the Pacific Ocean, feeds on various underwater inhabitants. The depths of the sea are great because they offer so much color and life. Mandarin fish are one of the most attractive examples, they have many different colors and patterns stretched all over their bodies. Mandarin fish are extremely popular but notorious for being difficult to keep and live in salt water. They are peaceful to the point of being shy, and usually eat only a specific live food called copepods, which are crustaceans that are difficult to keep in an aquarium in sufficient numbers to keep the fussy mandarin fish alive. They have an exciting swimming and hunting style that only adds to their charm. Their eyes seem to bulge out of their sockets and darting in all directions, looking for a tasty morsel of food as they hover over the rocks. In the wild, Mandarin gobies can be found in the Coral Triangle, around Malaysia, Australia, the Philippines or Indonesia, on the Great Barrier Reef and in the Indo-Pacific region. They live especially in shallow lagoons and coastal reefs, especially around rocky beds or dead corals, which provide them with protection and privacy. They lead a solitary lifestyle, and form pairs only for the period of the mating season. 
The main time of their activity is the day. At night they rest. Blue Dragon or Blue Angel, Glaucus Atlanticus. Believe it or not, these majestic water dragons are actually a type of gastropod mollusk and a close relative of snails. These beautiful creatures swim on ocean currents and rely on their blue and silver colors to camouflage themselves from predators like seagulls. To stay near the surface of the water, blue dragons swallow air bubbles, as a result of which their back is down and a well-developed leg is adjacent to the water surface. They seem to crawl along the surface tension film. Like many brightly colored sea creatures, the blue angel has excellent defense against enemies. It eats poisonous jellyfish and accumulates their poison. Therefore, this mollusk does not have a shell, few people want to eat it. The blue dragon or blue angel is a gastropod mollusk belonging to the Glavaceae family. It lives in temperate and tropical waters of three oceans. Common off the east and south coast of South Africa, off the coast of Mozambique and the east coast of Australia. Recently, this species was found near Peru and in the waters of India. These mollusks prefer to live in open waters, but sometimes they are washed ashore and end up on beaches. This mollusk is a predator, and preys on jellyfish and other mollusks. The blue dragon slowly approaches the prey using its thin tentacles. However, he is not afraid of even the most poisonous jellyfish. The mollusk approaches and begins to bite off pieces of tentacles from the poisonous jellyfish. The white Bengal tiger is the most beautiful animal in the world the embodiment of grace, majesty, and strength. It is not surprising that the tiger appears in many myths and legends. Due to genetic mutations, some Bengal tigers are born white, which makes them even more beautiful. In addition to the color, white tigers differ from their relatives in the blue color of their eyes. On average, one white tiger is born for every 10,000 Bengal tigers. Adult tigers are quite aggressive animals vigilantly guarding their territories and not letting strangers into their possessions. Male tigers live and hunt alone. Having sensed a stranger in his territory, the male will react to him very aggressively and will try to drive the stranger out of the territory. Apart from other tigers, the tiger has no other predators. Young tigers live alone until it's time to breed. Tigers are polygamous. And with one female there is one male for a long time. Tigers are quite family animals. They worry about their offspring, create a den, protect their offspring. They hunt and guard the females and brood. The swan is mysterious and beautiful. It is no coincidence that it is called the royal bird. From childhood, a person is accompanied by a fabulous image, personifying goodness, loyalty, and nobility. Swans are the largest waterfowl. The mass of an adult male reaches 15 kilograms, the wingspan is about 2 m. There are pure white, gray, and black variants of the color of the plumage of birds. All swans are distinguished by a long, curved neck. In the natural environment, the life expectancy of a swan is 20 to 25 years. However, there are legends that swans can live up to 150 years. Flocks of swans gather only in the wild for a flight to winter. Usually, birds create a pair in which they live all their lives. Swans nest on islets or in the immediate vicinity of water bodies. Birds build a large nest, about 3m in diameter, from reeds, sedges, and aquatic vegetation. Upon completion of construction, they lay from four eggs, which incubate for about a month. The male all this time vigilantly stands guard over the nest and does not let anyone in. By the way, scientists studying these birds have noticed that black swans are distinguished by the most calm and peaceful disposition. But whites, on the contrary, can be very cocky and aggressive. It is not for nothing that this beautiful and graceful animal received the nickname Black Pearl. Frisian horses are one of the oldest domestic horse breeds in the world. The first mention of them dates back to the 13th century. And now they are part of the golden carriage of the English Queen Elizabeth. Friezes have a balanced, but very energetic temperament. Because of this, they are great for amateur riding. 
Frisian horses occupy an intermediate position between heavy cold-blooded horses and horses of the Spanish type. Frises can be called universal being inherently draft horses, they perfectly cope with the complex elements of dressage, both under saddle and without. With all this, the Frisian horses have a specific specialization, carriage horses with a well-developed trot. The history of the Frisian horses originated in Holland, or rather, in one of its regions, Friesland. In the 60s of the 20th century, due to the active development of technological progress, there were only 500 Frisian horses in the world. But thanks to the admirers of this breed, it was saved, and their numbers multiplied many times over. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching, if it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.